In my efforts to watch the first episode of the shows that I grew up with, I was really excited to watch Mona the Vampire. I've watched both the first segment and I will, well, I will be watching the second segment once I've done this discussion, um, Attack of the Living Scarecrow and also The Robot Babysitter. And certainly for Attack of the Living Scarecrow, I have no recollections of it, the actual episode, and there were also some things that I'd maybe forgotten about her or misremembered. For example, well, if you're unaware, Mona is a child who is also a vampire um, and with her friends Charlie and Lily and her cat Fang, they go after various monsters and creatures and in my memory it had been a secret identity. But actually in this first episode it's something that she's very forward with and goes to school as a vampire and I have to say Mona's Mona's wardrobe is the best thing ever. I want all of her clothes. I love her style. I didn't think my fashion icon would be, well, a, an animated girl from the 90s, but I love her style. And in this episode, there's a, a mystery surrounding this living scarecrow, and they, they dress up in their alter egos and go off to try and find it. And I won't say any more than that. They're, they're short. Each episode, or each segment, is about just over 10 minutes. And... Honestly, the narrative itself wasn't that great, I'll be perfectly honest. It felt vague and underdeveloped and kind of very poorly executed. And I have to say, it kind of reminds me of Scooby-Doo, but in the sense that it's watered down and it's definitely driven by the character of Mona and how interesting she is and how great I think she is and I love the design of her, I love the animation style. But the actual narrative of this episode, it doesn't really have much substance to it. I did like how it ended, and I won't explain that ending, of course, but I feel like it was a good start and a good end, but a, a bit of a weak middle, to be honest. But as an introduction to Mona, I think it sets the scene very well. I think it's a very good introduction to her personality. And also, why was she handling garlic? I know there's this whole vampires aren't actually scared of garlic, but also... When something is such a commonly known thing, I feel like Mona as a vampire shouldn't go near garlic. So that was a bit of an oversight, but it's an, you know it's not bad. As a, as a children's show, as something that's a bit dark and entertaining and a little bit mysterious with a really great protagonist, I can see why I watched it growing up. Whether or not I'll continue watching it after this first episode, I'm not sure. I will now go and watch The Robot Babysitter and see what I think of it. And if I enjoy it, I might continue with it, but based just first on the attack of the living scarecrow, I feel like the narrative needed a bit of work.